Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can apply font formatting to a text containing object when it is in object mode in order to apply your formatting changes to all text within the object. You can also click into the text within an object in order to place the object into text edit mode and then select only the text to which you want to apply selected formatting. Now once you have your selection made, you can click the buttons that are available in the font group on the home tab within the ribbon to apply font formatting. Note that you can hold your mouse pointer over any button shown within this group to see a screen tip that shows the name and function of each button shown. Also note that some buttons shown, such as the font color button, have small drop down arrows on them that will allow you to select a choice from a drop down menu that appears. Other buttons, such as bold and italic, are simply toggle buttons that either apply or remove the formatting specified by the button. Alternately, if you select text within the object, you can simply hold your mouse pointer over the selected text and wait for the mini toolbar to appear. You can use the formatting buttons in the mini toolbar to apply many common font formatting options. For advanced users, you can set many lesser known font formatting options by clicking the Font Dialog Box button in the lower right corner of the Font Group in the Home tab of the ribbon. In the Font Dialog Box that appears, there are two tabs, the Font tab and the Character Spacing tab. On the Font tab, you can access many text effects that are available. You can use the various drop-down selectors and checkboxes to apply any formatting that you desire. On the Character Spacing tab, you can set options for the amount of spacing that occur between characters within a font. This is not to be confused with line spacing, which is an attribute of paragraph formatting, not font formatting. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.